Welcome back. One prominent local artist is using watercolor to capture the beauty of the Columbia River. Here's outdoor storyteller Dan Barth. I determined in kindergarten I was going to someday grow up and be an artist. And my teacher said, well, you're so young to know that. It's like, but I know I'm going to do that. Her name is Susan Pettit. And as she says, being an artist came naturally. Growing up on the Columbia River, we saw lots of eagles and things like that. And so it was easier for me to do animals and people. And it wasn't until I got to college, like, oh, yeah, people are really important. I guess I better do them, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Susan stayed with her passion of capturing the outdoors using different mediums. And it was her father, Jim, that first inspired her. He tied all of his own flies. And I can remember as a real little girl sitting there by the hours watching him with all the beautiful feathers and furs and the, the beautiful threads and metallics. And it's like, how can he take a pile of all these beautiful things and make a beautiful little piece of artwork? They so intrigued Susan that decades later she wanted to paint the steelhead and salmon flies in watercolor. So I said, Dad, I said, do you have any more of those flies? He goes, well, I think if I dig around, I can find some. And so he did. And, and to me, they're real treasures. And I know they're really old and they're not as perfect as the new ones. But there is perfection in the imperfect, an aspect that Susan sees in those old flies and in the very landscape of the Snake River Canyon near Soton, Washington, where she now lives. And that's what I can't wait to capture is taking what just looks like maybe a rock but making it wow that's a beautiful rock and with the water around it and all the life that comes along with that somewhere I'm sure Susan's kindergarten teacher is smiling for Outdoor Storytellers I'm Dan Barth KXLY4 HD News and Susan's work is available at the Diamond Shop in Lewiston Idaho and at DJ Art and Frame. And for more outdoor stories like this, just head to northwestoutdoorlife.com.